Hey guys, welcome to PCN's channel. Let's have a look at Clockwork Aquario today. Now this is an arcade game that allegedly released by Sega. I could be wrong. Let me know. In, let me know in the comments if I am. But it was never released, and uh, here it is, refined and released for Nintendo Switch. So uh, let's check this out. Right. So um, going in blind. Game gives you a few different options. There's training mode, which I'm guessing is the super easy mode. Um, only has two stages. Uh, this is easy mode, gives you nine credits to finish the game, and normal gives you five credits. Uh, so, um, what character? Okay, dude, girl, or robot? It's gonna have to be a robot. So, um, so, cancelled arcade game, if I remember correctly. Okay, so cool. Is that the mechanic that's just shown us? You can jump on them, you can punch them, you can grab them. So, okay, pop down. Let's. Can we grab that? Okay, so you just walk in to grab, there's no buttons to press. Okay, that chucked it a little higher than I wanted it to. So look, okay, so maybe if I down. Okay, so cool. Okay, kind of interesting. Um, yeah, not sure if I, I mean, if back in back in the day, I would have definitely tried this in the arcade. Not sure if this is something I would have played a lot. Um, yeah, and also I wonder why it got cancelled. Do let me know in, in the comments about this video if you've got more information on this. Uh, I've, I've just looked at the absolute minimal, minimal of it. it. It is quite expensive. Uh, okay, I'll pop that thing up. It is quite expensive in the in the eShop. On the UK eShop, it's $16.99. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know if this is something you want to purchase or maybe, maybe wait for a sale. Um, depends on you know how much you like your pixel and, and arcade games um, this is something I just wanted to check out when I heard it was a cancelled arcade game I was like okay let, let, let's let's check this out uh, for myself and uh, yeah come on okay <laughs> can, I, can I punch that fish weird you can't ah, you can't get too close um, I was actually trying to move up and punch it to see if I can punch up okay so uh, Okay, cool. I can punch the fish. Good stuff. Okay, let's chuck that over here. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get to a boss battle soon. So let's get rid of that. I do like the fact, like like Super Mario, you know, when you hit the blocks uh, from uh, underneath, it it, it, it um you know it, it it kind of destroys the enemies or causes damage to the enemies. Uh, obviously in Mario you can't hit the enemies from underneath, from what I remember, but you can hit the block from underneath. But in this. Uh, you can hit the enemies from underneath, which is cool. You know, he, this is a robot. He's also got two spikes on his head. Uh, not the easiest to aim at these things. Uh, but let's... Ah, no. Okay. Old Clammy there trying to fireball me, huh? Yeah, not a bad game. Maybe I shouldn't have picked it up at full price. <laughs> But uh, let's see how long it is. Maybe maybe playing it on all the difficulties is you know is the challenge. Like maybe if you can like one credit this game. Okay, so those things don't actually damage me uh, when they when they run into me. Oh, okay, cool. We're we're on a boss now. So I, I imagine this is okay. Ugh, this is one thing about this game. I guess that's the arcade game. The, the, the hitbox, the hitboxes are a little bit deceptive. Okay, so let's. Okay, cool. So, uh. Ah! I'm trying to duck underneath that. Hit the penguins or whatever. I don't know penguins, I don't know what they are. Okay, so. Dash it at that. Sounds easy enough on paper. He's only got like, the fireballs. Can I crouch and put. Okay, so. Okay. Take that. I could probably go ahead and punch the tank as well. But then. Probably when it touches me, it's gonna. Ah, okay. Yeah, if it touches me, it causes damage. Do I get a bit of invincibility at the start now? Okay, sorry. Let's let's pick another player. Let's go with uh, let's go with a dude. Invincibility again? Okay, got got a couple of cheeky punches in while I had the invincibility. Okay, there's a lot of them there. Let's see. Okay, am I invincible there? Okay, cool. Oh, I thought I fired out uh, stars there. Okay, not a bad game to be honest. I think th this feels more like a console game uh, than an arcade game for sure. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, is it is it Mega Twins made by Capcom? I know it's on, it's one of the it's on one of the recent Capcom collections. Uh, oh okay, I, I recall that. That was interesting. Okay, let's. Uh, 
I do like the throw mechanic, it's it's fun. Ah, okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. I wonder if people that run through the game and do stuff. Uh, some of the speedrunning stuff that I see online is it's just amazing. Some are uh, very, very talented players out there. Uh, I'm, I'm by, by no means a, a speedrunner. If anything, I'll, I'll make a platform game look like a walking simulator. But this game, this game's okay. Uh, not sure if it's worth the full price, but uh, maybe put it on a watch list and uh, you know pick it up on a sale. Now I do like the Switch sales sometimes, like they're just dirt cheap, like Saints Row was I think two Saints Row number four was like two pounds forty four now. Not really a game I'm interested in playing. I did like number three. Number four didn't really interest did, uh, didn't really interest me. I did try it out when when it when it first came out. Uh, also I think it was given away uh, or it was one of the games that was given away in a humble bundle. Whoopsie. Uh, but for two pound forty four, I just couldn't. Um, I couldn't refuse it. I just added it to the collection. Whether I play it or not, I don't know. But for that price, it's it's kind of rude not to buy it. Uh, whether that was you know a genuine price or whether that was a, a mistake. Um, either way, it was two pound forty four. Uh, at the time of shooting this video, uh, which uh, you know we're in, I think December twenty first. Should really know what the date is. Yes, it's December twenty first today. Um, I think the sales on till like. December, all right, let's try the, the last character. The, the sale is on till December the 30th, so if you do want to pick up Saints Row 4, uh, obviously make sure you are above the age of 18 because it is an adult rated game. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't spot that. So, uh, must have to throw this up here. Cool, we're looking good. Uh, yeah, so Saints Row 4 is £2.44 at the, at the time this video was shot, and uh, you know, if you want your kind of GTA type of game, uh, that might be for you. I'm not really a GTA fan. Uh, I know most people love that game. I've, I've never really been a GTA fan. I've tried getting into them. I mean, everyone played Grand Theft Auto 3. That was just, uh, you know, that was on the PlayStation 2. That was uh, groundbreaking at the time. And a bit of trivia there. Xbox were actually, Rockstar approached um, Microsoft first to try and get a GTA exclusive with them. And they just didn't believe that uh, Rockstar had the ability to uh, convert it from 2D to 3D and do a good job and I guess that was their mistake and Microsoft made a lot of mistakes you know that was definitely uh, that Grand Theft Auto 3 was a system seller but oh wow that's, that's an ugly looking fish um, and it's an ugly looking robot fish at that all right guys this was just a quick look uh, at Clockwork Aquarius uh, can I slide down and get them all oh, cool nice slide yes yeah, so this was a quick look as usual if you enjoy the content consider subscribing drop me a like if you like and until the next video guys pcn out